Hello, my loves. Welcome to a new pick a card reading. Today, we're going to get you clarity on have they moved on? So whether this is your twin flame, your soulmate, your beloved, your crush, you may be in some form of separation with them. You might be in little contact or no contact. I know some of you are in some sort of a holding pattern where something has happened here in the connection and now each of you are kind of waiting to see who's going to make a move, who's going to say something first, or for some of you, you just haven't heard from this person in a little while. They may be in and out of your life and you're just wondering, are they still going to get in touch with you or have they or are they trying to move on? Okay, so if you are new to this channel, I am Dr. V. Welcome to everybody who is a new subscriber, as well as to everyone who is part of this beautiful family. If you haven't already, make sure you do hit that subscribe. Join us because you will see when you get active in the comments how supportive and loving everyone is. You know, sometimes this journey can feel lonely. It feels like maybe people don't understand what we're going through. That's why this is a safe, loving, and nurturing community for you to come to feel like you are not alone on this journey and that people understand what you're going through. So make sure you do turn on notifications so you don't miss any future readings as well. So today I have three options for you. I'm also giving you some crystals to help you choose. Remember, this is a general reading. Not everything may resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. You can pick from group number one, number two, number three, or you can choose them all and take the messages that work for you. Now, if you're at that place where you just want to cut to the chase, as in you want to get clarity on your unique and special journey with your person, you might be feeling like, you know, you're just so tired now, right? Emotionally exhausted heartbroken, there may have been some sort of separation as well, and you need answers. So if you're in that position, I recommend that you actually have a personal reading with me. I offer them on video as well as live. Live is my absolute favorite because I love seeing you on video call. Um, I love being able to connect with you right then and there, and Spirit can answer all of your questions in real time, which is very, very healing healing and very transformative. So if you go to livetarot.com forward slash readings, you can see my entire menu right there. Okay, so without further ado, if you'd like to take a deep breath, see which of these images and crystals you feel most intuitively guided to. Okay, so for group number one, we have this image. And we have, for your crystal, we have the red jasper. Okay, so this image and the red jasper. For group number two, we have this image and we have the black jasper. And for group number three, we have this image and we have the orange adventuring. Okay, so go ahead and make your selection and we will get started with group number one. All right, my beautiful group one that chose this image as well as the red jasper, which is right here. This is your reading. And stay with me until the end because we're also going to get Spirit's advice for you. What would Spirit want for you and this connection at this time? What would they say to you? So stay with me until the end. Okay, so for our beautiful group one, I already have one. <laughs> That just flew out, so we'll take it. Have they moved on? Okay, so first we have that page of wands. We have the Ace of Cups. And 
and we have the chariot okay interesting so i mean we're gonna go in deeper but from this initial energy i feel like your person is trying to have a new beginning here okay i do feel that they are taking baby steps okay so i feel like they haven't fully decided they're still in that position of like i don't know whether i should move on without you or whether we should have a new beginning i'm getting an undecided energy here so you know what i just want a little bit of let me get some clarification because I, I don't know it feels like right now your person is split like there's a part of them that wants to move on but then there's a part of them that wants to have a new beginning so spirit can you please give us some clarity on this ace of cups who is this new beginning with is this with you or are they trying to move on to somebody else okay so i feel like that is also energy of moving on yeah okay so we're getting eight of wands and the world okay so i do feel that there is at least for now this person is very emotional at this time okay and i feel like yes they are trying to move on but again i feel like it's very hasty it's very rushed okay so i feel like for now in the current energy they are very much rushing to move on they may be rushing to have some sort of a new beginning but i feel like the way they're doing it is in a very childish way okay page of wands i feel like this person right now is going through some phase where they are very immature, okay? So their behavior of wanting to move on is very immature. It's not coming from a good place, okay? So I feel like this person, for many of you, something may have ended very recently, okay? Take that as it resonates. It's not for everybody, but I feel like for some of you, there may have been a big fight, some big drama, some some big breakup that felt very abrupt. It felt very quick. It felt like, wait a second, what is going on here? And I feel like it has made your head spin in the sense that you're just like, how could this be? Like yesterday we were together, we were in love, everything was fine. And today, all of a sudden, we're like done. I feel like there is a definite energy of disbelief. Like people are like, wait a second, this is happening way, way too fast. So I feel like this person, either they were triggered in a really big way by something that happened. And again, it's not your fault. We all have different tr triggers. It's our responsibility to deal with what those triggers are and to not like run at the first sight of it, right? But I feel like there's something about this person, their personality, their energy that they tend to become very, very, again, very immature, very childlike when they are emotionally triggered, okay? Wands energy also, they can become very passionate, they can become very dramatic, they can become very argumentative, okay? And they can be very quick to say, well, you know what, we're not meant to, we're, we're probably not meant to be together, we should probably just move on, okay? This is not going to work out. You know, maybe it's better, like, you know, maybe it's better that we just kind of, like, go our separate ways. Um, I feel like this person has given you that indication they may be giving you a lot of like bravado a lot of drama a lot of like these big words like it's time to go our separate ways you know this was not meant to be and all this big stuff but I feel like they are inside they are very much regretting having acted so quickly okay because look at this ace of cups coming through as the central energy I feel like they want a second chance with you, but they may be too much in their ego to say this. And they may be like acting out when inside they know that they don't want to move on. You know, inside they know that, hey, this is wrong, but there's something that is making them act out. Okay. And I feel like as time moves on, because I feel for some of you, this was very abrupt. This was very sudden. As time moves on, this person is more and more going to kind of realize that this was a very childish response. Okay. Very childish response. So right now they might be rushing to move forward. They might be rushing to move on. But I do feel that as again, time moves on and they are out in the world, they're going to start feeling very alone. 
Okay, they're gonna start feeling really stupid. Like, what did I do? Like, why did I do this? It was so fast, it was so dumb. I just feel like this person is, is on their way to some sort of regret, okay? Some sort of regret because I feel like they're pretending. There's a part of them that is just pretending that they are moving on. And they're trying to make it as some sort of show of, look at me, I'm so strong, you know? Okay, dark man, dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. Okay, so we're gonna just pull uh, from this deck, we're gonna pull a few cards just to get more information on what may be going on in this person's world right now. And I feel like maybe part of, for some of you, part of the reason why they're acting this way may have to do with some dealings that this person has had with a dark haired or dark complexion, complexion man. Now this could be, you know, it, this could be a father figure. This could be from their childhood. This could be a bad influence from a friend. You know, only you would know, right? In your situation, is there somebody like this in your person's world? Is there someone like this who maybe could be a bad influence on them as well, right? It doesn't have to be from their childhood. It could be right now. It could be that there's somebody like this who is not a good influence. Like it's maybe they go out partying with this person. Maybe this person is telling them, hey, you don't have to deal with this shit. You can just move on. There's so many other fish in the sea. You know, there's so many, so many other opportunities. I feel like for some of you, there is some sort of a like that dark energy, dark influence coming through. Okay, so this person, again, see horse, short journey. So this is why I feel like this person, like they may be acting like I am done, it's all over, I'm moving on, but I feel like that that journey of moving forward is gonna be short, okay? They're gonna realize. To me, this is, this is a confirmation of this, that they're gonna realize pretty quickly that they shouldn't have listened to this person or that they themselves, like this was short-lived, like this was the wrong thing to do. See, goldfish, increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. That's good, we want that. We actually need that because I feel like when this person realizes that they were very, very fast to judge, they were too fast to criticize. They were too fast to break it off with you or, you know, that they were triggered really badly. I feel like they're going to need this increase in spiritual growth. Okay. They need that because this page of wands energy that they're coming from is too childish. So this is a good thing. We want that. I feel like this, these are all great um, indicators of how some of these energies are shifting. Okay, so let's get one more. What else can you tell us about this person and what they're up to at this time, Spirit? Bird perched, waiting for news package or letter. So again, I feel like this person, again, they're giving you all of this bravado. It could be a lot of pride, a lot of ego, but at the same time, I feel like they're also waiting for you to reach out. They're waiting to see what you will have to say. Eight of one. I feel like this is another confirmation of this energy. It's like they're moving fast, but at the same time, they're like, is, you know, are you going to reach out? Are they going to get a message? Is a message going to come in from you? You know, it's like, I feel like they're checking their, their phone constantly. I feel like they feel like there's something like they're trying to like almost will, will it to happen. They keep checking their phone. They keep checking their messages. It's almost like they want to manifest a message from you. Okay. That, that's, that's the energy I'm getting. Wow. <laughs> a lot of very interesting energy coming from this person. Okay. So see darkness. So we're definitely... They're definitely going to go through a dark night of the soul. Um, whatever these actions have been is definitely going to take them into a darker place. Surrendering to the journey, release control. I feel like they're going to they're gonna also come to a realization that maybe they tried to control this situation, you know, by like pretending to move on or giving these like big actions of like, look at me, I'm moving on. But I feel like if they want you back, if they want to back tread, they're going to have to release control of the situation. Because I feel like part of what they're doing here, again, acting out, it's very much trying to control the outcome. But that sense of control is going to keep them back. It's not going to keep them. It's going to keep them from moving forward. It's also going to keep this relationship, this connection from moving forward in any way. So I feel like this person is definitely going to have some dark days coming up because I feel like they have acted very quickly 
they should not have. I feel like they've acted in a very quick and kind of a uh, hasty way and it's not going to end well for them. See, surrender the drama. So this person, I feel like they have really, I feel like they have really initiated a lot of the drama, a lot of the criticism. And again, I think it comes from their personal triggers. This person definitely needs to work on their maturity. They need to understand why they are triggered, why they act like a child, right? No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. Isn't it interesting how this is a confirmation of the fact that we already saw that this person can be very dramatic? And, and who knows, maybe there are certain other influences in their life um, that also have kind of made them that way. Okay, so let's take a look at what would they say to you from their higher self. And if you could take a second to give this video a like and a subscribe, you have no idea how much it helps me, my kids, and the channel. Thank you so much for your support. I love spending time with you, enjoying each other, and the simple, cozy pleasures of life. Okay, so I feel like this person, they, again, they're going to go through a lot of darkness right now because they really miss, they already miss you, even though it's like they're, you know, giving you this big old thing about like, we weren't meant to be, this isn't going to work out. I feel like it's all just posing, posturing. Okay, I'm getting very much a posturing energy from this person. You're my secret inspiration. Your smile lights up my world. I love laughing with you. See, this person, again, there's a very childlike quality that this person has. On the one hand, they love hanging out with you, giggling with you, laughing with you, being with you. There's a very childlike quality. Like they're very happy in those moments. They're very youthful and very sweet and I feel like that might have been that youthful quality might be what made you fall in love with this person in the first place but then when they're triggered that youthful quality that 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 sense of you know childlike beauty or childlike enthusiasm can become immaturity and it can become annoying right it's kind of like two sides of the same coin would I be rejected if I contacted you? Do you still want me? Okay, so while they are waiting for you to reach out to them, they're also considering, you know what, should I just stop all this posturing and just reach out to you? Like they might be trying to wait this out. I wish I could take back the hurtful things I said. See, it was wrong to take out my frustration on you. So see, this is why I feel like this person may have said a lot or, you know, just been really kind of annoying or really hurtful or critical when they were triggered. And that is not pretty. They understand that. They realize that that was also a big mistake. So again, I just feel like this, this person's kind of main issue here is they do tend to be quite, quite, um, immature, uh, immature when things don't go their way. Okay. Or when things go wrong, they don't know how to step into maturity. Okay. So this is their challenge from spirit that if they truly want that ace of cups, if they do want a new beginning with you and they want to stop all the drama, they're going to have to learn how to be more mature or step into more of a mature energy. Okay. So let's see what else about this person. What other information can you give us spirit and stay with me till the end because we will be getting your final advice about this person. Okay. So they want, <laughs> look at this. I feel like this person, it's all, they're all about pretending to move on inside it's just a, a big old yes like they want they want to be with you again they want to be in touch with you again like i said i feel like they're trying to manifest a a a, uh, a message from you i feel like they're again they're like constantly looking at their phone i feel like they're embarrassed while they're looking at their phone but they feel like okay well nobody else knows that but me right they feel like the path towards you right now may be hidden or like you yourself are have slowed down okay their their greatest fear is that this behavior from them is going to make you less interested in them that somehow they've turned you off you know you've slowed down in your attraction to them you've slowed down in your love towards them you may be rethinking you know how you feel about them i think they're really afraid of that um you know they're kind of kicking themselves uh 
they they feel like maybe you you will reject them in some way, right? Like you you just won't want to be with them again. They want to create something here with you, okay? I feel like Look at this creation. Bring out the greatness within. I feel like they are definitely embarrassed by their behavior. Um, they don't know how to backtrack at this time. They may have had like some huge, huge like response to something that feels very embarrassing now. They want to create this Ace of Cups with you. They want to start all over with you. They may not know exactly how to approach that. They were going to have to get over their embarrassment, their overreaction to something because look, ultimately they feel like it, you know, no matter what the drama has been, you are their soulmate. You are the person they wish to be with. So this is really interesting energy. I feel like, you know, it's going to be about whether you are willing to work with this person as they mature. Okay. Is this something you're willing to work with? because they definitely are on the immature side. Doesn't mean they'll be like that forever, but you may have a lot of kind of starts and stops with this person until they get to that point where they're ready to step into a more mature energy when it comes to relationships. So what is Spirit's advice for group one? Believe in your good luck. Okay, so good things, regardless of what this person says or does, good things are coming your way. There are blessings coming your way, group one. So make sure you look out for them and make sure you believe that you deserve the best. And that is what is coming to you. Okay, very fascinating reading here. So um, if you'd like to have a personal reading with me, you can do the video recorded or the live. You can also order any of the Oracle decks that I have created and used in this reading. These are great problem solvers for when you have urgent questions at home. You can also take a look at the Blessed Twin Flame Necklace, which is a beautiful manifesting piece to either unite or reunite with that special person. So everything is over at livetarot.com. So make sure you go there and check out all of the magic. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you all on the next one. My beautiful group two that chose this image and the Black Jasper. This is your reading. So let's take a look. Have they moved on? We have temperance. We have the Five of Swords. Wow, Seven of Swords. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to start here, but we're also going to clarify because I feel like there's some questions that are coming out here. Now, we have a lot of Swords energy which tells me that your person right now, I feel like they don't necessarily want to move on, okay? They're still very much stuck in their heads over whatever has happened, but I almost feel like they've been forced to move on by whatever has happened in the situation, or they feel like they don't really have any other choice but to move on because either you broke up with them or you stopped talking to them or you called them out on their behavior okay so for some of you i do feel like this person deceived you in some way okay they either kept secrets from you or they cheated on you or they were tempted to cheat okay for some of you take this as it resonates not for everybody but for some of you i feel like this person always had somebody else in their life something someone shadowy you know like there was always a presence of somebody there who was influencing your person, whether it was romantic or whether it was family or somebody like, like a friend or something. But there was always some sort of a shadowy presence, a shadowy energy around your person, which made them 
be not completely honest with you, group two. Whoever this person was or is in their life, like I said, it doesn't even have to be a romantic person. That person has some sort of influence on the person you love. And for some reason, the person you love wants to hide that or they want to downplay that. They don't want people to know. They don't want anybody, not even you, to know some sort of hold that the other person or situation has over them. Okay, that's for some of you. For others of you, I just feel like this person was keeping secrets. Um, they were not honest with you about certain things. They were very egotistical with you, five of swords. So when they were called out, I feel like for some of you, you may have called this person out because you just felt like something is not right here. I do feel group two that your intuition was very strong about this person because on the one hand, you felt very connected to them. But on the other hand, you felt like something wasn't quite right. You felt like they were hiding something. Um, and I feel like maybe when you call them out or when this came to light, this person, because they couldn't admit whatever the truth was, they acted like their pride had been hurt. They acted like their honor had been hurt. They acted like you are uh, the problem and they're the victim. Okay, so they may have tried to deflect your questions or they may have tried to, you know, avoid telling the truth or avoid coming clean about whatever is going on in their situation. And they may have done that by becoming defensive, by becoming egotistical and by making it seem like you are attacking them, like they're the victim here or they're the innocent person here or whatever. But I feel like it was all just BS, like you could totally see through this. And so this person right now, again, I feel like they haven't moved on. You are constantly on their mind. Um, they're constantly thinking of you. They are regretting, you know, not being fully honest, but they're also very out of balance right now. Okay. So they're very much right now. Their focus is also to try to get themselves back into some sort of normal place in life. So if you guys are separated at this time, this person is going through a very dark, dark time and it's a very dark and unbalanced time for them okay so you know as much as they may be thinking of you they're also very much trying to find their way again because i do feel like um they are afraid that they have already lost you or they're afraid of fully losing you okay so again i feel like they don't necessarily want to move on but they feel like they have to because i feel like it really does depend on the level of the secret that they were keeping right so and how much you know about what secret they're keeping like maybe you do know what they were up to some of you may not know exactly what they're up to, but based on how this played itself out, this person feels like maybe they don't have a choice. They must move on because they let you down because maybe you don't trust them anymore. Like you may still love them. You may still miss them, right? It's, it's, it's a, sometimes a very sad state of affairs with the human heart. Sometimes we still love somebody very much. We may miss them very much. We may feel that we have such a deep connection with them, but because of their actions towards us, we may still not want them back in our lives, no matter how much we love them, right? No matter how much they're still part of our energy. Sometimes we're just like, you know what? I can't let you back in my life, no matter how much I deeply do still love you. So I feel like this person, that's where this person stands right now. It's like they feel like they really don't have a choice but to move on because you may not trust them anymore, you know. But they do feel, though, that they do still feel that you love them, right? So they may try to build upon that. So let's get some clarity here. Can you please clarify that Seven of Swords spirit? Can you give us more information on that? Oh, wow three fell out okay so let's just take these two of pentacles knight of cups and king of pentacles okay so definitely i feel like there is some sort of a twin flame energy here some sort of you know this is why it's very hard to maybe give up this person if you're on a twin flame journey this is a confirmation here but this also says that you know there are some tough decisions that need to be made here this person may have made some really bad decisions as well you know, and I feel like this to me also speaks to, you know, whoever 
else is influencing your personal decisions. For those of you, you feel like they're being influenced by somebody. I feel like there is something here in that two of pentacles. Like there's something in their material world, like material life where it's like sometimes they don't make their decisions based solely on what they want. They may have somebody poisoning their ear or somebody in their ear, okay? I also feel with this Knight of Cups, this person, like I said, they haven't necessarily moved on. They, if it was up to them, they would come back to you and try to fix things with you, okay? So they haven't necessarily moved on, but they feel like they might be forced to, Okay, because they don't have any other choice. Now, we're also getting this King of Pentacles energy, which I feel is very much about them still wanting to be your partner. Okay, still wishing that they could have this place in your life. Because, see, this person may have been, they may have come across as somebody who is very stable, who is there for you, who's your rock, who's your anchor, who's your, like, you know, like they're solid, right? They may have come across as this, but there was something within that that maybe wasn't entirely honest. Like they may not have been as stable as they tried to show themselves to be. Okay, because I feel like this person, again, maybe one of the things that they were secretive about or one of the things that they were hiding is that they were a lot more insecure than they let on. Okay, they were a lot less stable than what they were trying to show. So I do feel that this person, because they loved you so much, because they really wanted to be with you, they may have tried to mold themselves to be more like what you want. Right. So they may have kind of downplayed some of the things that you don't like and they may have tried to upplay or try to enhance or show you that they have the qualities that you want. OK, so this person, I feel like also needs to kind of step into who they really are. Like they need to if they want to come back to your life, if they don't want to move on from this, they have to start being really honest about who they really are instead of trying to mold themselves to please you or to mold themselves into being like who you would want them to be without being really honest about maybe some of the darker sides to them or not being honest about some of the you know parts of them that you may not get along with and that's okay you know we're not meant to like get along absolutely perfectly with everyone so i do feel like that's part of this person's insecurities right like it's like they're they may be too afraid to show you some of you know their weaknesses some of the things that they feel like you may not like about them so let's see what else what other information can you give us, Spirit, about this person and, you know, whether they're moving on or what is kind of, you know, going on with them? So we have cobweb, protected from negative forces beyond your control, okay? So, see, this is where I feel like this person, they, you know, with that, to me, this is all about that seven of swords because this cobweb energy, I just feel like it's like a very, like, you know, something is hidden, right? Something has cobwebs on it. It's like being like obscured. It's not clear. And I feel like that was part of it. Like, I feel like the seven of swords or whatever they were hiding was coming from that cobweb energy. Like they were trying to protect you from, you know, something in their life or something like in their personality. They didn't want you to see that part of them. Um, they thought that they were just protecting you from their darker side. So that may be the reason why they were in that seven of swords energy. We have bear, danger, especially in money matters. Okay, so for some of you, this person, again, with that king of pentacles, like to me, like I feel like they may have also, maybe part of the seven of swords is maybe they were not honest with you about where they are in terms of money. Okay, they might not have had as much money as they say they do, or they may not be as successful as they say. They may not have been as financially solid as they say they were. Um, they may have had some issues with finances. They may have lost their job. They may have had some, some big loss somewhere that they didn't want you to know about, or they didn't want to tell you, or they may owe somebody money. Okay. So I do feel like because it says danger, especially in money matters, I feel like for some of you, this person was hiding the fact that they owe somebody money. Okay. And that person may not be a very positive, like, you know, it might be more like a iffy situation. We're also getting fan, romance, celebration, and party. So I do feel like this person, again, it's like if they if they had to choose, they would not move on. To me, this is a, a confirmation of that Knight of Cups energy. Like they still want romance, celebration. They still want to party with you. They still want to enjoy with you. They want that old life back that they used to have with you. 
fair woman dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde gray or white hair okay so this might be a special message for some of you who you feel like there is some sort of a shadowy figure in this person's life um you know there may be somebody who is from their past or somebody who has their ear like i said who's whispering in their ear so that might be for some of you an indication of that okay so we have the unexpected so again i feel like this person they did not expect to have to move on from this relationship. See, we're getting fogged in, go slow, take time. So they were not expecting this. Whatever happened here may have happened um, against their will. If there's been a separation, if there's been, you know, if you have stepped away from them, it is not because they wanted that, okay? They didn't want that. Um, this to me, fogged in is also very much like that cobweb energy where things are feeling very, you know, murky. Um, their vision is not clear. The situation feels very kind of cloudy. Their judgment was cloudy. They didn't make the right choices. And now they're kind of like, you know what? I, I think I didn't think things through. Maybe if I, if I want you back, I should go slow. I should, you know, try to win your trust again because I do feel like this breakup or this separation or whatever this issue is was unexpected. They did not expect to not be with you or they didn't expect that you guys would ever, you know, like break up or have some sort of an issue that would lead to, to some sort of a breakup. Okay, so I feel like this person has definitely been surprised by whatever has happened. And see, so they're trying right now, I feel like this is also part of the temperance energy, okay? So they're trying to find their balance again. They're trying to get real with their life and where they've they've ended up because I do feel like their insecurities have really set them off balance. Their insecurities have kind of made them go off their path. They haven't, they, they, their life is really becoming like a... Um, too many curves, right? Like now it's going in the right. Now it's going in the left. Now it's going in the right. It's like, it's like too much zigzagging in this person's life. And I feel like that's because they let their insecurities get the better of them. You know, they kept secrets. They weren't honest. They, they, they weren't really looking at themselves. They weren't being honest with themselves or with you. And I feel like that's just led them totally away from their soul's path. So that's why I feel like that temperance energy is very much about spirit kind of, you know, challenging them, telling them, you know, it's back, it's time for you to be back in balance again. So let's see what they would say to you from their higher self. And if you could take a second to give this video a like and a subscribe, you have no idea how much it helps me, my kids and the channel. So thank you. You bring out the best in me. I'm a better partner because of you. I want to cherish you forever. So see, I do feel like you inspired this person. You brought out good things in them, even though they have their own struggles. And I feel like that's another reason why they, they wanted to mold themselves more to you. Like they wanted to enhance those parts of themselves that you would like because they wanted you to feel proud of them as well. I need to be alone for now. I need to make sense of my intense feelings. I don't want to feel this way. Yeah, so definitely there's been something here, something very disruptive, okay? Um, very intense. I also feel like that goes back to that two of pentacles for some of you who are on that twin flame journey. I have awakened to our connection. I know we have a timeless bond between us. Yeah, there is a definite, again, two of pentacles. Very, very intense connection here. I miss looking into your eyes and into your soul. Yeah. So again, to me, this is all about the intensity of the connection that you guys already share. So let's see. And stay with me till the end. We're going to get some more messages about how they moved on, what's going on with them. And then we're going to end with Spirit's advice for you. Okay, so this person may be making a move towards you. Okay, so I feel like in their heart of hearts, they wish to come towards you. They don't wish to move on. But I do feel like depending on what you decide, like what you have told them or what messages you are giving them, this could also indicate that they're being forced 
to move on. Now, for those of you who you guys might be at a geographical distance and this has all happened, they may be actually coming to your city or your town or to where you are in order to meet you face to face. Okay, because I feel like that has to do also with this. I miss looking into your eyes and into your soul. Okay, so if this person misses looking into your eyes, they want to come clean. They want to, you know, stop having these secrets and they want to tell you the truth. And you guys are geographically distant. They may come to where you are in order to have this conversation in person. See, so I feel like, again, in their heart of hearts, they want a new start. They may be reaching out to you, again, depending on whether you have told them that it's over or whether you have given them some indication that you are willing to listen to them. But I feel like they want a change, okay? They want a change. And for those of you who, you know, uh, fall is where the season you know, where you're at, you could see this as a time marker as well, that this fall, something may be changing in this situation. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, there you have it. I feel like this person, ultimately with that King of Pentacles energy, before all of this kind of shit hit the fan, they wanted to make you an offer. Like they literally wanted to be your partner, your spouse, your whatever, however way you see commitment. That is what they wanted. And that's what they were trying to be for you before this went off track. So what is Spirit's final advice here? Go for it. Okay, so whatever you are planning to go for in life, Spirit is behind you. Spirit is supporting you. Spirit is saying, go for it. You will be successful. So, wow, this was a wild reading. I hope you enjoyed that. If you'd like to have a personal reading with me, you can do video recorded or the live reading experience. You can also order any of the Oracle decks that I've created and used in this reading. These are great for solving your problems at home because they answer your questions when you really need immediate answers. You can also order the Blessed Twin Flame Necklace, which is a wonderful manifesting piece to either unite or reunite with that special person. All of these things are available at livetarot.com, so please do go there and check out the magic. I'll see you all on the next one. Thank you. My beautiful group three that chose this image and the orange adventurine crystal. This is your reading. So let's see, have they moved on? What are the energies around whether they've moved on or whether they wish to reunite and stay with me until the end because we will also be getting your advice from spirit like what does spirit want you specifically to know about this connection so have they moved on we have two of pentacles We have the tower. We have the eight of cups. Interesting. Okay, so we're gonna start here and then we're gonna get some more clarification. But I do feel like this person is trying to move on. But I do feel like whatever happened here between the two of you has made them feel like they are not ready to do so. Like it's almost like they know they should. They know that whatever has been going on in your your life together in your life journey, because there's something here that is kind of some sort of energy of overwhelm. Like this person doesn't want to necessarily move on from you but they feel like there's something going on in each of your lives that is too much right now. It's almost like I get the feeling that it's more like not wrong person, but wrong timing. You know how sometimes you meet somebody you truly love, you connect with, you feel like you could see a future with them, but the timing in life feels very wrong. Either you are going through a lot of challenges that are distracting you away or they are or both of you are. 
So I just feel that while there is a beautiful yin yang, very complimentary energy between the two of you, I feel like both of you have come to each other at a time where there seems to be a lot going on. Now, for some of you, take this as it resonates, it's not for everybody, but I feel like for some of you, the, the reason for this is because you either they are going through a divorce or you are, or it could be on both sides, okay? For some of you, there there's definitely something here about someone who is in the process of that uncoupling, okay? And so if it is that your person is the one who is going through a divorce at this time and they're not fully out of that process yet, you know, like they're not fully single, everything's not final, papers haven't been signed, like that kind of thing, I feel like whatever is going on there is very ugly, Okay, very, very ugly. And I feel like, um, for, again, for those of you who this person is going through a divorce, I feel like whatever has become ugly may have been a little bit sudden. Like things may have been going okay and then all of a sudden something went ugly. And it has really put this person off balance. Now, I feel like it doesn't really even matter if if it's a divorce. It could be anything in your person's material life or your material life okay so don't be limited to like okay this is only if you know my person were going through some sort of a divorce i feel like there's something here where there's just a lot going on there's certain types of challenges there's certain types of things i feel like for others of you this person has recently lost something okay and that tower coming down it feels like it came from nowhere so either they lost somebody died in their family somebody important to them passed either they lost their job um, they may have had some major business losses some sort of a big loss or some sort of a big kind of change in their life situation has come from nowhere. And it's very hard for this person to even move on from that Eight of Cups, okay? So I feel like your person right now, they feel like they have to move on from these challenges. They don't necessarily want to move on from you. But there may be something here where the challenge feels so big that they may feel like maybe we should put a pause on this relationship, okay? So that's the energy I'm getting. I'm getting the energy of, I don't wanna move on, but I may have to delay being with you. That we may have to like, you know, figure out our other issues and then come back around to this because right now with this tower's energy, something is very overwhelming, okay? And for those of you who are who feel that you are on a twin flame journey, this Two of Pentacles is a beautiful confirmation of that, right? Two of Pentacles is seen as a Twin Flame card. So that's just an extra confirmation for those of you who might be on that journey. So let's get some more information here. Spirit, can you please tell us what is going on with this Tower's energy? Can you give us some clarification? What's going on with this Tower's energy? And then we'll get clarification on that Eight of Cups as well. What's going on? Knight of Wands. And what is going on with that Eight of Cups? Can you clarify the Eight of Cups spirit? Queen of Pentacles. Okay. See, this is why I'm saying for some of you, there is something here about your person needing or trying to move on from a spouse. See, this is why I'm saying for some of you, there is some sort of divorce that is happening here or some sort of uncoupling. It doesn't even have to be a legal divorce. It could be that they're in a committed relationship. They need to move out. They're living with this person. Something about like there, there's some sort of a living spaces issue you know, where it's like literally they don't have that living space to be with you. They are forced to either live with the other person due to finances, um, but that that is getting very difficult, okay? Um, or they have to deal with that person. For others of you, I feel like this person may already be divorced from that person, but that person is still kind of ugly. Like either they have kids together, so they're still in contact with that person, or they have to be even though they don't want to be. For some of you, it, this is very interesting. For some of you, I feel like, and again, 
this is not for everybody, but I feel like for some of you, this person's ex-spouse found out that they are in love with you, that they are seeing you, that they're serious about you, and that person freaked out, okay? Even though they're not with them, there's something there about control, about manipulation. There's something there. So that person kind of freaked out and is making your person's life difficult because the other person found out about you. And so they're still trying to eight of cups, move away from this person, but they're having a very hard time doing that because there may be some sort of drama that this person is definitely creating, okay? So in terms of this Knight of Wands clarifying the tower, I just feel like your person definitely wants to take action towards you, okay? So if they have withdrawn right now, if they're just going through Again, there might be a lot of drama. There might be a lot of turmoil. Maybe they don't want you to know. Okay, they may also be trying to hide that from you. There, if they have right now withdrawn from you or they're not in contact with you, I feel like they really do want to come back into your life. Okay, Knight of Wands. Like if they could, they would run back to your life because they feel an incredible chemistry an incredible connection and passion with you. But the reason why they may not be able to run back into your life or tell you, hey, I miss you so much, I wanna be with you, is because of whatever has happened here. Okay, something has happened here that has just really overwhelmed this person's energy, okay? Um, and you might be feeling the same, right? You may be having some issues where you're feeling that same sense of overwhelm. So let's get some more information here. What more can you tell us, Spirit? See, clouds, temporary problems, okay? So this is good. I feel like with that Two of Pentacles, whatever has happened here, whatever um, you feel is is the cl the clouds around the situation and see i feel like we're getting two energies here because we are getting clouds here around the tower and now we're getting clouds here again so i feel like this person also wants you to know that while things may seem like they're really tough right now while they're there may they may need to step back or there may be a break right now between the two of you they do want to believe that these clouds or these dark clouds that have come into your experience right now are temporary problems like they definitely want to fix these problems okay so that to me is a very good thing and i like the way that that came up as this like okay clouds definitely evaporate right they go away they're not there permanently what else can you tell us spirit about what's going on with this person Cracked cup, dissatisfaction with life. Yes, okay, so I feel like this person, again, that two of pentacles where we really felt strongly that there are just forces outside of this relationship that are putting too much pressure on you and your person, where again, it feels like the timing right now may be off. And again, because there's temporary problems or because there's something here that needs to be cleaned up, there's something here that needs to finally end. I feel like your person is definitely dissatisfied with the way things are right now. Okay. They're dissatisfied with their life. They feel like, you know, things have just broken apart. To me, this is also kind of like that towers energy. But again, I feel like it does feel like it's temporary, right? Like this is, maybe this is a bad phase, but we're working on it. We're working on fixing some of these issues. And then when this passes, right? I feel like they are very much thinking of you. See, dog far away, a distant friend is thinking of you. I feel like this is this person. Like right now, if they're not in touch, I feel like their heart, I, from the dog's energy, I just feel like their heart is very loyal to you. Um, even if they're dealing with some sort of ex-spouse, ex-issue, their heart is very loyal to you, okay? So even if they're distant from you at this time, they are constantly thinking of you, okay? And constantly thinking about how to come back to you or how to, you know, fix these issues so they can come back to you, 
Okay, last one here, forest, muddled, unclear thinking. So I feel like this is what has led to this tower moment in the first place. I feel like this person, you know, they, before this, this, whatever these issues are happened, like they weren't thinking through these issues properly. I feel like they were struggling. They didn't know how to resolve these issues. And I feel like maybe you had that as well. Maybe both with this, again, with that two of pentacles, I just feel like there was something on both sides and maybe you guys just weren't thinking through it very clearly. But now I feel like the time is coming where it's like, it's gonna have to work itself out. And I love this. Oh, wow. Look at this. See, will. So I feel like this person, they are now exercising their willpower as in they are coming into their own strength. You know, after this tower came down, it definitely weakened them. It definitely made them feel like, oh shit, like, am I going to be able to deal with all this nonsense? Like, am I going to be able to clean up all the messes that have been happening in my life so that I can truly be with you. I feel like that was their main question, but they also realized that they need to let go of the frustration. There's definitely a lot. I'm, gl I'm so glad that this came up because I feel like there's a lot, group three, a lot of energy of frustration here in these, in these cards, okay? So this person, again, they're going through a time where things just seem to not be going their way. There's just a lot of things up in the air and it is definitely frustrating them because they wish, again, with this nine of wands, they wish to come to you. They wish to be with you, but there's just too many things that are hitting the fan right now. Okay, so frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath, center yourself and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly. Okay, so I feel like this person, again, the answer to have they moved on? No, they're being forced to right now be silent because I feel like all of their energies right now, their attention, their focus, their courage needs to go into dealing with all of the blocks, getting rid of the challenges so they can be fully free to be with you. See, take action with passion, valiant courage. I love this because look at, to me, this is the same energy. Wow, look at this, twice. So I feel like this person's overall energy is not to move on from you, but it is to move on from the things that are holding them back from being with you because what they truly want is to take that courageous step. Wow, I feel like this is the same card. Look at this, exactly the same. So this person, and again, with passion, wants energy, this person is gearing up to take those very brave actions to let go of the frustration, to use their will, their strength, their courage to really take action towards you and this connection. So let's take a look at what they would say to you. And if you could take a second to give this video a like and a subscribe, you have no idea how much it helps me, my kids and the channel. So thank you for your support. I'm keeping secrets from you that I'm too ashamed to admit. I'm afraid to talk about these things. Okay, so that's why I feel like with this tower, there may be certain things that got ugly in this person's life and they're not able to tell you. Or maybe you know something about it, but maybe not everything, right? So this is why I feel like they might be withdrawn right now trying to deal with these things because it is really making them feel like, wow, I don't know if I can talk about this. This is getting ugly, right? I tried to forget you, but it's not working. I always feel your presence with me. I'm magnetically pulled to you. See, so this is why I feel like for some of you, this person may have felt with that tower's energy that there's just certain things that they're not able to deal with right now. Like they mean just not be able to be there for you, right? So they may have tried to walk away with that eight of cups. They may have tried to forget you, but they're realizing now that that's not the answer. To the issues here. I knew you were right, but couldn't admit it to myself or to you. Yeah, see? I miss looking into your eyes and into your soul. Yeah, so that's why I'm saying this person, whether they tried or not to move on, whether you tried or not to move on, 
I just don't think that that is the answer to this. I just think that you guys are, at the end of the day, you guys are bigger than whatever these problems are. They are temporary, but they are going to require courage. They're going to require courage and determination to fix. I feel like that's that's the issue here. And the, the, the answer is not to walk away from you. The answer is to have the courage to fix the issues. Yeah, see? So I feel like this person really does want to move forward. They want to move forward with you. I feel like um, if you guys are in some sort of a long distance situation right now, you may see that or you may see that this person wants to travel to be with you. Interesting. See, this one flew out. I feel like this is all also about your person's sense of self-worth. Like, I feel like they're coming to this understanding that, you know what, no, no matter what crappy things are going on here, they deserve love. Like, they don't deserve to lose you from their life, right? Like, they don't deserve to keep sacrificing their happiness to deal with drama around them. So I feel like they're finally stepping up for themselves and saying, no, you know, I, I've really missed out on so much. I've sacrificed so much in order to be there for other people or do for other people or all these things. Well, what about me being happy? I feel like this person is finally stepping into, you know what, I'm not going to sacrifice my happiness again and again. See? So again, I feel like with that two of pentacles, there's something here about them having to deal with people around them, whether it's the ex, whether it's, you know, current people, whether it's toxic family members. I feel like, again, to me, this is another energy that, you know what? Yes, there's issues I have to deal with, but I have to courageously be able to step into my power and say, I love you and I'm not going to sacrifice my happiness anymore for, for other people's drama, other people's, you know, false expectations. So I do feel like that courage card is becoming really, really important. So this is why I feel like this pause energy has definitely been here. But this person, I feel like it's 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 the pause before they take action. See, calmness, step back, wait for the sign. I feel like this person is gearing up to resolve all of these things so they can move forward with you. So what is final advice for you? Let your fears dissolve. Beautiful. That's what spirit wants you to do. Let your fears dissolve. So if you'd like to have a personal reading with me, I offer video recorded as well as live readings. You can also order any of the Oracle decks that I have created and used in this reading. They're great problem solvers for when you have and you need answers, you have questions, you need answers at home. You can also order the Blessed Twin Flame Necklace, which is a beautiful manifesting piece to unite or reunite with that special person. So you can check out all of the magic at livetarot.com. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you all on the next one.